Hey guys, in today's video I wanted to show you a simple hack about servos and this hack can be very important for a lot of you guys, stay tuned! So guys, in today's video I wanted to show you a simple hack about servos and this hack can be very important for a lot of you guys and it will save you a little bit of money or a lot of money depending on the servo. So this hack is only possible with brushed servos like the ones I've got on the table. So if you have got a brushless servo, you can't do this trick. So the first thing that you want to do, get yourself a servo. The next thing you want to do, get a screwdriver and then undo the back lid right over there. When you have removed the four screws, carefully remove the back lid, because we don't want to damage anything. And now you can see the internals of a servo. But let me first explain the functions of everything that you see here. So inside here you will find a lot of gears, and the gears are there to reduce the rotation speed of the motor, which is right over there. And the motor is controlled via this little print board. And this is like a speed controller, or maybe like an ESC for example, but in a very small size. And inside there you will find the potentiometer. And the potentiometer is sitting there to tell this little board in which uh, direction the servo horn is positioned. And that's the basic understanding of a servo. So the thing that we are going to do with the servo today is reverse the servo but without using the remote. Why? Well sometimes a remote doesn't have the option to reverse a servo and sometimes it's very important to do so. Of course you can buy some extra pin uh, print boards to reverse the servo or you can buy a different servo but we are going to do it manually. Another reason why you want to reverse the servo is when you're going to make a vehicle with four wheel steering like this one which is made from the FCX24. So what you normally want to do is get a front axle and mount it onto the rear. And with some extended transmitters then you can dedicate an extra switch for the reverse steering. But with this one that's not possible. So I use like a splitter cable to split channel number one. So you would have uh, yeah, both uh, signals going to the front servo and to the rear servo. But when you're using the normal setup which you have... Uh, in the front into the rear then you would have the crab steering instead of the four wheel steering which you would like to achieve so in that case just reverse the rear servo and then you will have the four wheel steering which you would like to have there are two things what you need to do if you want to reverse a servo. So the first thing is to swap the motor leads so this lead will be soldered on this one and this lead will be soldered on that one When you are all done, we are going to swap the leads of the potential meter sitting right over there. So the ones that you want to swap is the white one and the black one. So don't touch the middlest one. So we are only going to remove the white one and solder it on the position of the black one. And the black one goes onto the position of the white one. When you're all done it should look something like this. So the black one and the white one are just swapped over and the red one you didn't touch that one. So now it's time to put the servo back together again. When you have reassembled the servo, then you're all done, and now the servo has been reserved. So that's a very easy job. So if your transmitter doesn't have a function to reverse it inside the transmitter, you can do it via this way. Alright guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel. If you got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!